emotional authority. Uh, the emotional center is here. It's the triangle located in the right-hand side of the body graph, and it is uh, colored this light brown color. And if you have this uh, center defined, it is automatically your authority. It means that you could have all the rest of the chart defined and have that center defined, and it is still your authority. It trumps all other authority. It is the, uh, the trump card of authorities. Um, the emotional being needs time. It needs time to make decisions because its decisions are based on an emotional process and it's about the emotional being getting clear, clear in the body through time what or is or is not correct for its life. Now again, I need to stress to you that the aura mechanic still trumps the authority. So if you're a generator and you're asked to respond and you have this, you need to respond through time. You need to be asked again and again. You know, I have, an, I have one emotional generator friend that it took him uh, two years to get clear about buying a car. And it took him two weeks to get clear about moving across the country. So I want you to also understand the emotions is not rational. You know, you will be clear when you're clear. And until then, you're not clear. If you're an emotional manifester, that means you're here to initiate and inform out of your emotional clarity. So your um, aura mechanic is to impact the other. So you feel something needs to be said, you sit with it, you let the nervousness in your body drop, it gets to a place of clarity, then you can inform or initiate something. You know, for the projector, you may be invited to do something. You get invited to do something and in that moment, it may feel really, really good, but I'm telling you, wait, because the only time an emotional being makes a, a mistake is by moving too fast. As an emotional being, you can't move too slow. For the projector that gets the invitation, you know, it needs to be invited and push it away. All of you, manifestors included, push it away. If you're emotional, push it away. Play hard to get, you know? Don't give them a kiss on the first date. You know, play hard to get. It'll really work it, it, to your benefit. The longer you can wait, the better the deal's gonna get for you anyway. And, you know, the clarity thing is something that is, can only be in, understood at the, the level of the body. You know, I'm, I'm hesitant about putting out these authority videos, again, because I also understood my authority before I understood my aura. And it can be deeply dangerous. So, please, experiment with your aura. Understand deeply how, whether or not you're here to respond, initiate or be invited, you know, the three that could have this type of authority. Experiment with your aura. And while you're doing that, be in the background feeling for this place of clarity about the decision-making things in your life. If you're an emotional being, time is your friend. Time is your ally. If you are not clear, do not let anybody push you or pull you off of your own authority. The emotional being to me almost feels like it has a weight. When I'm around someone that is really deeply involved in this experiment, who is deeply connected to their emotional weight, uh, body, they have almost like a weight. It almost feels like um, gravity, extra gravity around their body. When I step into their field, I can feel like this solidness. You know, it's this really deep, clear, slow wave of energy that's moving through time and space and you can't mess with it. It's like a ship that takes, you know, a big ship that takes a long time to turn. You know, you don't make decisions quickly. You don't act, you know, in the now. Time becomes your ally. And what happens is if you wait long enough, the things that aren't for you start dropping away. And you know, just because the environment won't support it. You know, you are here to be a perfected frequency in space. And that frequency is not to be messed with by anyone, including your own mind. So if you're an emotional being, look, I know it's tough to wait in this environment, in this world that we live in. It's moving a million miles an hour. But the emotional beings that are in my life, that are deeply involved in this experiment, man, they bring such depth. They bring such power, whether it's through response, whether it's through invitation, whether it's through their impact, you know, and, and informing as a manifester. So if you're an emotional being, look, 
I really support you in going as slow as possible. And from now on, you have any, your answer to everything is, I'm not clear. And people are going to ask you why, and you go, because it doesn't feel right. And I can't explain that, because it's not a logical process. Everybody's going to try to pull you in your mind and find out why. There is no reason why. You just don't feel right yet. It'll be right when you feel right. And until then, you're not clear. And if you wait, again, the emotional, because it moves in a wave, will vacillate back and forth. The emotions is a wave. It moves from hope to pain and back again. Hope to pain and back again. And then all of a sudden, each decision, slowly but surely, one will drop. Click. And you'll know, yes, this feels right or this does not feel right. And that is your Zen martial art to be an emotional being. To find your own clarity. To start with small things first. I encourage you to start with small things first. Because... You know, making big decisions is even harder. So maybe start with lunch. You know, somebody calls for lunch this week and you say, hey, great, it feels good now. Would you call me next week? Let me see how I feel then. Get used to using the vernacular feel because it's your truth. And every time you realize you're thinking and you see the stream of thought in your mind, let the period at the end of the sentence be, how do I feel? If you didn't understand what I said, I want to say that again. When you catch yourself thinking, Remember, at the end of that stream of thought of da 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 mind, that you're an emotional being and bring it home. How do I feel? Let the period of e at the end of each mental sentence be, how do I feel? That will start to pull you into your body, start to align you to your uh, body consciousness, and start to bring you what's there for you in this life. You're not here to be messed with. You guys are very strong and very deep. I love the emotional being that is in, in its resonance. And the ones that aren't are, you know, they're suffering like everyone else. You know? So please, give yourself a break. Give yourself some time. Enjoy what it is to move slow. Enjoy what it is to be emotional and bring what you have to bring for us when it's time for you. Thank you.